Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you guys, I am finally about to do an updated video on the Split Ender Pro 2. If you guys remember the video from last year, if not, I'll link it above in the iCards. I did use the Split Ender Pro on my natural hair for the first time, but when I did that video last year, my hair was not straight in. It was in its natural kinky coily state, and it did work, but I definitely believe it would have worked so much better if I would have had my hair straightened at that time so it is time to do an updated video on it I just did my silk press and I'm super excited about it I'm super happy with it so now it's time for me to do my trim get rid of my split ends so what better way to do that than to use my split ender probe so I have my split ender probe right here this is the box that it came in it was $145 on Amazon when I got this last year and it comes with a carrying case and inside the carrying case is the split ender pro so this is the tool right here you guys so this right here let me unlock it is where my hair will be right in here and then this silver latch is what i'll press down and then my hair will run right through it and then this little part right here is where the split ends will be so yeah guys i'm super excited to use this so in the directions it says that your hair should be in optimal conditions which is straight in with no oils or leave-ins in your hair so my hair doesn't have anything in it so that's phenomenal and then it says when i do my passes i shouldn't use a split ender pro on each section more than three times so i'll definitely be mindful of that and yeah that's it y'all let's get into today's video all right guys so i'm about to get started i'm gonna section off my hair so i'm excited about using it this time around you guys because the last time i used it because my hair was in its kinky state it was really hard to use it like my hands are getting tired and things like that but since my hair is straightened i don't have to really worry about um detangling each section and stretching each section i just run the tool right through it so yeah guys i am going to just put this section out the way. And then I am going to touch the directional switch and turn it on. So the switch is important because it's the way the blade operates. So whenever you are using it on this side, you wanna make sure whichever side you're using it on, the directional switch is going down. And then when you clamp it, you hear that sound. I'm putting it on my hair. Okay. I see a few split ends, you guys. Okay. All right, I'm gonna run it over it one more time. Yeah, I actually see split ends. Y'all, this is such a great way to preserve your ends. Let me look at my ends. Okay, I still see a couple split ends. So I'm gonna go over it one more time. Well, I only saw one split end, but let me go over it one more time. It's crazy, y'all, because I actually see split ends in this. I will say it doesn't get every split in because I still see, see some, but since I went over this part three times already, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it moving. It's definitely getting some, but it's also missing some as well. So, I'm not sure you guys. <laughs> I feel like I still have to go in with the scissors after this because I still see, you know, split ends. I still very much so see split ends. All 
All right guys, so I am done using the Split Ender Pro and I do wanna show you guys how much hair comes out of it. Y'all, this is quite a bit of hair. I was not expecting it for it to be this much. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Let me get a piece of paper or an envelope so you guys can see. All right guys, so this is the amount of hair that was in the Split Ender Pro, you guys. I'm actually happy with the amount of split ends that I see right here. I can actually physically see the split ends, which is super dope. I will say when it comes to this tool, you're still gonna need a scissors because even though I utilized the Split Ender Pro and it went through and it got as many split ends as it could, my hair isn't like super even. I feel like it's not as pleasing to the eyes as when you have like a nice trim with a scissors. You know what I mean? Like when you get a nice trim with a pair of scissors, like your hair looks nice, flowy, even. I don't feel like that's the look that my hair is giving off right now. Like my hair still looks like it needs a trim. So that's something to definitely keep in mind if you do decide to get this tool. I will say it was a whole lot easier to use this tool this time around because as I said, I didn't have to go through each section and detangle and try to stretch each section. So that was really nice this time around the tool is just heavy because I still felt like it just weighed too much so if they could like do a little something something to make it weigh less that would be great because my hands are quite small and I just felt like my hands were hurting using this tool but yeah guys it's one of those tools like if you want to get it, you can. I'm not necessarily gonna tell you, definitely go out and get it. I think in my last video, I was super hype about it, but I guess I expected it to cut way more split ends than it did because I still see split ends. Like every section that I went through, when I did like my final look, I was still able to see split ends and I was like, dang, I'm still gonna need to use my scissors. So I'm not as gung-ho, you need to get this this time around. The last time when I used it as well, I already did a trim with the scissors, but I kept seeing like one or two split ends. So I was like, let me get this. And then it kind of took away all the split ends because I already used the scissors, but, with this, I still see split ends and I'm still gonna have to go in with a pair of scissors. So definitely keep that in mind if you guys do decide to buy this, if you do decide to purchase it, you know, if you can't afford it, just stick to the scissors. I feel like the scissors may do a better job. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about today's video, definitely leave those down in the comment section and I'll get right back to you guys. If you guys are not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.